Yo, what's up guys? Cole Reefin here, coming at you with another video. Uh, Buddy and I actually went to like three different stores today, so let's uh, check out what we got. So this is what happens when you go to like three different stores. You just end up buying a bunch of stuff. First thing is this Marine Complete food. Um, and these are like the press on shots that you just grab a one and press it up against the glass and the fish then just eat straight off the glass. I've never used them before but I wanted to try them out. And then got a bunch of frags, some bumblebee snails. Those are really good at eating like vermin snails. If you ever have like little white tubes inside your tank, these bumblebee snails are really good at eating those guys, so pick up some bubble bees if you're having issues with those. Why not? Why not, right? Some Astria snails. Those are pretty cheap. They're like 80, like a dollar a piece. Just got 10 of them. And then I got this really cool sign arena that I'm gonna throw in the 80 gallon. And we got a new fish in the 80 gallon as well. This guy. It is a leopard wrasse. So let me start floating these guys and then show you guys these guys in the tank, hopefully. So out of everything that I got, not a lot's gonna go into the 25 gallon, but 25 gallons looking good. Protein skimmer. It's pulling a bunch of gunk out. So yeah, that's doing good. I also bought this 35, parts per trillion, I think it's trillion, whatever. Calibration fluid to calibrate my refractometer that I purchased from Amazon. Uh, they should come calibrated, but I just want to double check it. All right guys, so here we have everything floating and or in the case of these bags of corals, they are submerged. I uh, do have the Sign arena that I got over here. And the fish I actually have floating to acclimate to temperature in that back chamber. It's kind of dark. I feel like it's a little bit better for him back there. And because I do have all these new corals and they're mainly all in frag plugs, I did find this little frag rag that I have. I forgot where I got this one. It might have been Amazon to be honest. But yeah, have space for eight, maybe quite a few corals um, on this one. And then I'll just set this on the sand bed to acclimate some of the corals. Most of them are gonna go in here, but we'll see. I might move some upstairs to the 25 gallon. Also guys, don't forget, always dip your corals no matter where they come from. This is the one that I use and I've had it for a little bit, so it's just the one that I have. Um, there's a bunch out there you guys can find your own at your own store but these are the corals being dipped uh, something different that I've actually found on one of these they didn't put on a plug it actually comes on like a little like a little shell I don't know if this is going to focus but yeah guys it's like a little Astria shell there it is it's like eaten up or whatever but it's like a little mushroom and the mushrooms on the shell Eh, something different I guess. I'll find a spot for that somewhere. Just dipping these and then I do have tank water here to clean them off before they actually go in my tank because you don't want any of this coral dip to go in your tank. One thing I do like to use is just like a regular toothbrush and that's just to brush off anything off of the frag plugs that it may have maybe like algae or just little things crawling on it too. The first RAS is in the 80 gallon. The clouds are so confused. They're like, what is going on? Yeah, guys, the tank is looking good. The tank is clean! That frag rack that I put in, it's right here, holding a couple different frags. I hope my clowns don't pick on the RAS, but the RAS. Hopefully knows how to go in the sand bed and stay away from them. 
They're just getting to know each other. Everything should be good. Hopefully. One eternity later. All right, guys. Here we have the new corals and stuff that I got. The first one is going to be this sign arena. And I got this for a fairly good price. I mean, it doesn't have any crazy colors on it, but I just love these meat corals. Or whatever you guys want to call them. I've heard them called different things, but sign arena is the type of meat coral. This one is. And then, what else did I get? These I already had, but everything's just doing really great. I actually did get this tank tested, and I'm only a little bit low on elk. Uh, calcium sitting like at 470. Elk is probably sitting at like seven, I wanna say. Which, I mean, it's not that bad, but I wish it was a little bit better. Um, I did put the new stuff, and an old one actually, on this little frag rack that I have here. This is one of the first ones that I got. Let me see if we could zoom into this a little bit and get it to uh, focus maybe. Yep, it doesn't really want to focus, but um, some sort of chalice. And then right next to it, we have some sort of like green bird's nest that I kind of wanted to try out. So that's there. And then I think this called this one's called Hollywood Stunner. Oh, I forgot. There's so many names out here, guys. I don't know. You forget what you buy sometimes, to be honest. But this one's pretty cool. And then I totally forgot the name of this guy on the left, but oh no, not again! The colors on this guy are crazy. Pretty cool, though. I did end up getting a leopard dress, but right now he seems to be hiding somewhere. Not sure exactly where. Alright guys, I'll let you guys get back to whatever you were doing. Co-reefing, out. <laughs>